Hi, my name is Sylvain. In this video, I will show you the 10 steps to connect your on-premise environment to Microsoft Azure. In this example, on the right side of the screen, we see our local on-prem environment. And on the other side, on the left, we see our Microsoft Azure environment, which we're going to use as an extension of our local on-prem environment through the use of this site-to-site -site VPN connection that we're going to create. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing we need in step one is to create a resource group in which we will create a virtual network in step two. So Azure Virtual Network, in my case, I got a 10 slash 24 address space, which is good for 256 IP addresses. And you see the small slash 28 subnet on the right. So this is going to be the gateway from Microsoft Azure to uh, the on-prem environment. Then we will create a local network gateway, number three. This is going to use the local IP address that we got in the internet router on-prem. Step number four, we will create an Azure public IP address. And this IP address is going to be used by the virtual network gateway that is step number five. And this virtual gateway is gonna link with the on-prem environment through the connection number six, so the VPN itself. So the VPN is gonna be the bridge or the extension between our on-premise environment and the uh, Azure environment, all right? Next, step seven, we will create a VM in Microsoft Azure that we're going to use later on to test our VPN connection. And step number eight, we will configure routing and remote access on a Windows server. So that could be from 2012 all the way up to 2019 uh, for the VPN itself. Then step number nine we will add the static route that we need to um, send the traffic from the on-premise network all the way up to the microsoft azure uh, 10 slash 000 address space as you can see on the screen and finally step number 10 we will test our vpn with an rdp connection from on-prem to our vm in microsoft azure okay so with that, we're good to go. All right, so let's rock. So we're gonna connect to the Microsoft Azure portal. And as we've seen in the steps earlier, the first uh, thing we need to do is to create the resource group. So we'll do that, step number one. So let's head on to the Microsoft Azure portal and go in the resource group section. And let's click on the add button. There, I'm gonna put the name for my resource group, S2S-VPN in my case, for site-to-site -site VPN, and I put everything in the West Europe region. I click Create, it takes just one second. There it is. And now I can go back to my resource group, refresh, and now there it is. All right, so that takes us to the second step, which is the creation of the virtual network. So we go back to the portal, we go to the virtual network section, we can click on the add button, and we select the resource group we just created, in my case, site to site VPN, and we, we can put the name site to site VPN virtual network. Then we click on next, not create, we click on next because we want to modify some parameters. So the address space, I'm using the 10.0.0.0 slash 24, which is good for 256 address, uh, IP addresses. Then I click on add subnet to add the default subnet, which is going to have a slash 26 address space, which is good for 64 IP addresses, as you see on the screen, and you click on add and then we can create the virtual network, which is be, which is gonna be created with the default um, subnet that we specified. But we still have one subnet to add, which is the gateway subnet, which is gonna be used to link from the Microsoft Azure network to the on-premise network. So let's add on to 
virtual networks. Now, after refresh, we can see it. We go inside of it. So we see the address space, the 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And if I go into subnets, I see my default subnet with the slash 26. But I need to create a gateway subnet, as I'm saying. So I'm going to create a 10.0.0.96 slash 28, which is good for 16 IP addresses, which is enough. And as you can see, Microsoft is taking um, a, a few IP addresses uh, from, from that range, always. OK, so that's done. I refresh. I see my gateway subnet with the, um, the range I specified, the address space. All right, so that brings us to the third step. Now the green icon, we're going to create the local network gateway. So for this, we go back to the Azure portal. We go in the top left and we click on create resources and we type local network gateway. You click on the link and you click on create. You put the name, so site to site local network gateway or whatever name that suits you. And IP address there, you need to put the local IP address that you have in your internet router on premise. So if you don't remember the address, that was my case, you can use whatsmyip.org and you just simply copy and paste the IP address and the IP address field. Then for the address space, then it depends. In my case, I have, I'm have i using two different address spaces, one class C and one class B on premise. So since I want that to be linked uh, with the VPN to Microsoft Azure, then I need to put the two of them. So 192.168.1.0/24 and the second one, 172.16.0.0/24. So these two ranges. All right, and then you put in the right resource group, the right, the, the correct region, and you click create. So you create the local network gateway. It takes just a few seconds. Okay, it's there. So we can check in the resource group, side to side VPN. We see the green icon, which is the local network gateway. And we can close this. So that takes us to the fourth step, which is the creation of the public IP address. This one is a quick one, really easy to do, as you'll see. So you click on Create Resources on the top left, and you type public IP address. Click Create. And basically, you only have to provide the name site to site uh, Azure public IP address, select the right resource group and the location, in my case, Europe West region. And you click Create. This one is really quick to do. It's already there. Again, we can go in the resource group, site to site VPN, can refresh. And after a couple of uh, refresh, we should get, there it is, the public IP address. Okay, so that takes us to the next step, the fifth one. So this one takes longer, the virtual network gateway. Okay, so again, create resources, virtual network gateway. You click Create. So you put the name, so Site to Site VPN Virtual Network Gateway. You select the right region. In my case, again, it's West Europe. So we're going to create a VPN, obviously. So it's a route-based VPN. The SKUs, I'm taking the, the one by default, not the basic one. And Virtual network, obviously, you, uh, you are going to take the virtual network. Well, there's only one that, that will show up in the list based on the, um, the subnet, the, the 
if you remember at the beginning we created the um, special subnet for the VPN and that's the one we are going to use. We select the IP address that we just created in the previous step, in the fourth step. That's the reason why we just created the IP address right before the creation of the uh, virtual network gateway. And now, as you can see, the video has been um, fast forwarded 60 times so that 30 minutes could end up being only 30 seconds for your convenience. So it's just about to finish in just a few seconds. And here we are, end of the creation of the virtual network gateway. Again, that's normally about 30 minutes or even more. So there it is. We can go in the resource group, site to site VPN, and we can see the virtual network gateway. If you go inside, you will see the um, IP address that is attached to it. If you go in local network gateway, you see the IP address of your internet router on premise, and in my case, the two networks that I configured. And that takes us to the next step, which is the connection number six. All right, so again, in the portal, we go in create resources. and you type connection, click on it, click create. Here it's straightforward, you specify the right resource group and watch out, you need to specify site to site uh, IPsec VPN, not the option by default. And location, Europe West in my case. So we specify the virtual network gateway that we just created, the local network gateway that we created before that. So site to site VPN connection and now shared key. So this is important, so pay attention to this. Uh, this is the passphrase that we need on both sides, Azure and on-premise to create the VPN, okay? So there's also the Ike v2 protocol, which is uh, needed, which, which was selected. So I'm clicking okay. So yeah, uh, in a real production environment, we would use something stronger, but for the sake of this demo, I'm using this ABCDE12345 passphrase. Okay, so now let's have a look at the status of the connection. So it's showing up as unknown, so never mind, we'll get back to this later. So let's move on to the next section, which is the creation of the VM that we're going to use in Microsoft Azure to test our new VPN connection. So let's go in the virtual machine section. And here I'm going to take the opportunity to mention that a few weeks ago I created another video to explain how you can create your own Hyper-V virtual machine uh, on-premise and then upload it to Microsoft Azure so that you could convert it to an image and then create your uh, virtual machines in Microsoft Azure from that image. And that is basically what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna select, as you can see, my own on-prem VM image to create uh, my virtual machine that we're gonna use now. So if you want to watch that video, uh, there's a link at the top of the screen, but uh, I'm gonna put the same link at the end of the video so um, stay tuned if you want to have uh, this information to um, create your own VM on-premise and then upload it to Microsoft Azure. Okay, so I'm gonna select two CPUs, and everything is fine. So I'm gonna create the VM and um, to make sure you don't have to wait for the creation of the, of the VM, as soon as I hit the create button, I'm gonna stop the video all right so that is done if we click refresh we see that the vm is there so as you can see i stopped the recording while i was creating the vm okay so that concludes this um, step so let's move on to the step number eight the configuration of the vpn 
Okay, so let's move on to the on-premise environment. In my case, I got a Windows 2019 server, which I'm going to use to set up the VPN. So in that case, we're using routing and remote access server. So we'll do the configuration. So you just right click and you choose uh, configure and enabled routing and remote access. You click next. You choose secure connection between two prior, uh, sorry, private networks, which is what we want to do. You take the uh, default, yes, and the HC, well, depending on, on your needs, and you click finish. So the uh, service is starting, and we'll continue with the second phase of that uh, configuration. All right, so you click next. You put a name, so in my case, it's site to site VPN to Azure. So you click Next, you choose VPN. This one is easy. You select Ike V2, if you remember when we did the configuration of the connection. And now here we need the public IP address that we uh, had in the step four. So remember in Microsoft Azure, the fourth step was the creation of a public IP address. So we need that IP address right now. If you go back to the Azure portal in the right um, resource group, you will see your IP address and you can paste it here. Okay. Next, next. Here we need to put the address space that we have in our uh, network in Microsoft Azure. So in my case, um, for my virtual network, I specified I had 10.000, if you remember. So you put the right uh, net mask. In my case, it's 255.255.0.0. And I'm going to put a metric of uh, 24. All right. OK, so click OK. Next. No need to put any username and password. You click on Finish. And now the uh, interface is created. So you open the list. You right click on network interface and now you see your site to site VPN connection is there. You right click on it because we're not done yet. You go into properties and you go in options. We're going to add a few redial attempts, but the most important is the security tab just there. And we are not going to use certificates. We're going to use the passphrase. So if you remember, I said you need to remember the passphrase. In my case, it was A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is where you need to put your passphrase. So if we just check quickly on the Azure portal, the connection status has gone from unknown to not connected. All right. So now we're going to connect. So you right click on the um, interface, VPN interface, and you select connect. So now we're going to establish the VPN connection from on-prem to Azure. There it is, connected. OK, so now that that is done, we can move on to the next step, which is step number nine, to add a static route to our VPN server. So in the same configuration, if you look down in IPv4, so you open that section, you see static routes. So we need to add the route so that the traffic from on-prem could reach the right network in Azure. So you specify the right interface, as you see, site-to-site -side VPN. And in my case, the address space is 10.000. We click OK. And we're ready to test the connection with RDP from on-prem to our VM in Azure. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the internal IP address I got for my VM in Microsoft Azure, which is 10.004, as you can see on the screen. So let's click Connect. So the administrator Azure on underscore admin, which is the username I got for that VM in Azure. And there it is. As you can see, we're connected through the VPN from on-prem to Azure. So as you can see, that's a nice way to have an extension of your on-prem network in Azure. So if I want to map a network drive back from Azure to on-prem, let's do that. So let's hit map network drive and we'll put the uh, IP address of the server on-prem. So it's 172.16.0.10. So this is the address I got on-premise. And if you remember, the, the, the address space in Azure was 10.000. And here it's 172.16.0.0. All right, so there it is. We've just mapped the network drive from the virtual machine in Microsoft Azure back to my server, 2019 server on premise. All right. So that is it. That concludes this demo to show you how you can easily in 10 steps create a VPN connection, site to site VPN connection from your on-premise environment all the way up to your um, virtual network in Microsoft Azure. So what we did, we created a resource group, a virtual network, then a local network gateway to represent the on-prem environment, a public IP address, which we used for the virtual network gateway, then the connection to link the local network gateway and the virtual network gateway, we created a VM so that we could test the connection. We configured the VPN on our Windows Server on-premise. We added the static route to correctly send the traffic from on-prem to Azure, and we did the connection with RDP. I hope that you have enjoyed that video. If so, do not hesitate to hit the like button and to subscribe. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.